So no matter how many times your kindergarten teacher reminded you to push in your chair, I can bet that some of you out there probably still do not do, do it. Sometimes, I'm pointing to you, you know those of you who push in your chair and don't. Maybe you need a self-driving chair. You say, are you saying I don't push in my chair? Uh, you sometimes don't push in your chair. Oh, Sharing yeah. an office with you, uh, I know that you don't. It's true. Um, how about you, Owen? Are you a chair pusher <laughs> inner or are you a whatever? Leave it wherever it is. Who cares? I am the king of my domain, and it is not my job to put away chairs. If a chair wants to get put away, it better put itself away. Oh. Okay. Well, I know you talked on your podcast about these self-driving chairs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> why don't you talk a little bit about it? Um, it's like it's a cool thing. If you ever been in like a board meeting, it's annoying because there's so many chairs you can get. Either it's full table or it's not a full table. You got to like squeeze in the chairs and get them back. So the fact that you can just get up and walk out of a room and the chairs put themselves away is super awesome. I don't know if the chairs, they always show them putting away, but I want to know if they like pull themselves out from the table because then you just walk in and then the chairs. Just, I think it's cool. I mean, it's one of those things where a person taught, told me about the story and they thought I'd be mad because this is such a lazy thing. But I'm saying, if somebody's got to come in and vacuum and clean up the room, it's just nice that the chairs are already put away and say, it's a it's a great thing. I think it's super neat. I love it. So it's called the intelligent parking chair. It turns 360 degrees. It uses four cameras to locate its target position wirelessly and transmit the chair's position en route and the destination. Uh, yeah, I. Um, it's funny. You like to drive, but you don't like to park your chair. That makes sense. Well, I'm not. Again, I'm not scooting around. I, I don't know if it scoots around with a person sitting in it. Oh, somebody sitting oh, in it. Yep, there you go. It. Okay, well, never mind. Man. Just <laughs> don't. Just don't crush that person. Stop no. when you get to the table, chair. <laughs> yeah, and again, I'm trying to figure out how much these chairs cost. Um, but again, it's, it just reminds me of a Roomba with a seat on it. So, you know, um, yeah, I like to drive my car. I don't want to drive my chair. That'd be cool. You could just scoot around on yeah. your chair. These chairs I, have Silicon Valley written all over them. Like, well, you, like, what like offices in Silicon Valley, tech companies in Silicon Valley don't have enough things to spend their money on. So why don't we get automated chairs that push themselves in for you? Mm -hmm. What movie does this remind you of in the apocalypse of human beings? Wally? -E? Mm. Wally -E indeed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this yeah. is the beginning of Wally. -E. I think I'll, we're witnessing it right now. If, if Leo gets those chairs in the office, you'll be big as me inside of nine months. Oh. <laughs> Now, uh, in order to get the chairs to move, you do a single clap. Oh. What I'm wondering is if you have a clapper and you do two claps, does that confuse the chairs? They'll turn your lights off, but yeah. what do the chairs Who has do? The They'd clapper. Like a, I don't. <laughs> I, you know what? Honestly, the clapper might make a comeback. In this world of Internet of Things, you never know. It's like the, the clapper, right time. We got an apper. We don't have the yeah. clapper anymore. No. We got apps for that. I, I drive up to my home. My lights turn on. I leave that's my it, house, my it. lights turn off. I don't <laughs> clap nothing. I don't tap nothing. I got geofencing, homie. Like, All right, fair you? enough. Okay, so how about clap. this? How how about this then? Brita, the water filtration system, now has a new pitcher. Why are we talking about this on a, on a technology show? <laughs> it's filled with sensors, of course, and connected to Wi-Fi. It's called the Brita Infinity. It tracks when 40 gallons of water have been filtered. Once that's done... Your new filters are reordered using Amazon Dash replenishment system. Is this for you, Owen? Is it? <laughs> as he takes a big drink out of a cup. As, as, as a lifelong uh, water connoisseur uh, <laughs> and a, a three-britter uh, container owner, I think this is the best thing in the world. I know that it's not. I know that it's stupid. But let me just look. Brita comes with this stupid little thing. It's a little digital screen mm -hmm. that you press it and, it, and it tells you how many months have gone by. Any kid, any adult, anybody picks up with their thumb and presses it, it gets erased. You don't remember when the last time you put the filter in. Then they have another thing with a sticker, and you put the circle on the month that you got it, and you still don't remember to refill the mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. And then after a while, you're like, man, this water tastes horrible. When's the last time I changed it? Three years ago? This is amazing. This is so amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> Fresh water all the time. I don't have to think. 40 <laughs> gallons new at my door. They should have been at this. Britain is on the cutting edge of the world as we know it. Britta has just hired Stephen Curry as their sponsor. Not Coca-Cola, not Pepsi, not horrible acidy things to destroy your body. But Britta is out here doing stuff for the future. You don't understand. You don't appreciate it. You're laughing at me, but this is serious business. Somebody should buy me one for Christmas early because Christmas is a long way away and I need one. Easy. Well, your birthday probably comes before Christmas, right? True story. Birthday present. Thank you. See, I love you oh, so much. Thank you. Now, just me. 
You just solved it for Okay, for so if it's not our self-driving cars or our self-driving chairs that are going to kill us, it's it's the consistent ordering things that we don't need it. It's all the Amazon Dash stuff. That's what we're going to be buried in our stuff we didn't order because some computer is dialing Tells into Amazon. Us that we you need, need this. Yeah, that's the you apocalyptic scenario I'm imagining. You need fresh water. But not fi the, the filters. I mean, how can you trust that then you need a new filter? You're just trusting that you need a new filter. What if you don't? It's... It's science. How do you trust that global warming is real because somebody smarter than us made the system? And yes, the system <laughs> might fail once in a while, but in general, the products usually work. So, as a human being, you have human <laughs> error of not knowing when you're 40. Don't ruin my dream. I already gave up on the Highlands. You're not going to ruin this for me. Okay. Well, if I'm the one that said to get it for your birthday. <laughs> yeah, if you need water and you want your water fresh, that's something you want to come to your door. It's not like it's coming every three months. It's coming when you need it. And we need water to live. We this should send... They should send these to Flint, Michigan. Get, get them good water. This is just mm -hmm. a glimpse into our future where... Yeah, everything's Wi-Fi. Yeah, where water pitchers having Wi-Fi connectivity is not a, an abnormal thing. It's just a way of life. Mm. Your sneakers have Wi-Fi when they get worn down. Your jacket has Wi-Fi when we're, the temperature drops. It's not keeping you warm enough. We're never going to have to make any decisions for ourselves ever. This mm -hmm. is going to be a great future. We're we're it's moving good. so okay. so fast to Wally. I can I can hardly stand. <laughs> yeah. How about the technology to just make water clearer and cleaner and safer for everybody? Can we work on that technology? That, that's a that's a good idea. <laughs> that's a good idea too. But I still yeah. can't do that right now. Birthday. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much.